Esri, as an organization, is focused completely on serving you. I say that strongly. And our people believe it. And we are committed to not only serving you, but also advancing the GIS platform and also advancing this thing we call the science of wear. Our values are principled around engineering and science integration. This is, means a lot to us. And I'm happy to report after these 50 years that we're strong and continue to growing and making a difference in partnership with you. We do more than software. We also focus on professional development for you with trainings and MOOCs and press books of various kinds. Many of these books here are new on this slide. They're about helping you understand how to craft the technology. But there are several books here that are, that are new and interesting. The first one is a gift from Richard Saul Werman called Mortality. And in this book, he shows how to take a very difficult subject and make it interesting. The second one is GIS and science. In this book, it shows examples of how GIS is affecting science. And finally, this one about women in GIS. It's an amazing book. It's designed to acknowledge the amazing and powerful contributions that women are making to our profession. Esri does not live alone. We have thousands of business partners who work and create an ecosystem of support for you, our users. And many of them are here in the room. I think it's to my left. I invite you to visit with them. They are a powerful force. We are also dedicated, as many of you know, both me personally, but also my colleagues, to conservation understanding and protecting nature. And I know that this is in, in your DNA as well. The Society for Conservation GIS is one of our key partners here, but there are many others. I'll talk about them in a moment. The other pillar foundational to our organization is education, building the next generation of young people. I listened to a very, very interesting person at the National Geographic Society, who now runs their education, speak. And last night I asked her permission if I could, I could quote her. She said, young people and educators who teach them, and by the way, there's over a thousand educators here, are, are, are the key for protecting the natural world and living smarter, which should speak to all of you, on the planet. We enjoy a series of special relationships and we support them in various ways. I do this because I believe that it enriches our community as a whole. You'll have an opportunity to meet some of these people this afternoon and get a sense of what this is about. Let me close by a few last words. In the beginning, I told you that GIS is evolving. That's fundamentally what it's doing. It's co-evolving with us as its practitioners into geospatial platform. It's becoming a powerful and responsive digital system, a nervous system. It's changing how we see. It's changing how we understand. And it's also changing how we communicate. And you're doing this all over your respective organizations. You're reshaping the work. You're transforming organizations. And you're making, as a result of that, professionals and your organizations smarter, more efficient, more effective. As professionals, your work is also, my view, part of something larger. It's influencing through your footprints and creating a future for our planet. Now, about now, you have the technical means. That's what this morning and this week has been all about. 
for creating more sustainable solutions. And again, the evidence, ladies and gentlemen, are the examples that I showed. To better manage the human footprint, to conserve nature, and protect our environment. To realize this, to create a sustainable future, is much more than technology, as I've said. It's going to require intelligent action. It's going to require thinking and compassion and values and ethics and a lot of hard work if we're going to turn this around. And going all in. And only you can do that. Now, <clears throat> now, let me simply say, going all in, do, is that going to happen? My sense, looking after the last, uh, if I look historically, I mean, if I look at the last 50 years, I would simply say, you will. Ladies and gentlemen, we're going to be back in our seats at 1040. Now is time for a break. And it's my great pleasure to open this conference. Have some fun. See you later. Thank you.